inside Kate Middleton's new book as it goes to number one in charts on first day. The Duchess of Cambridge was celebrating a new chapter in her life yesterday, as a best-selling author. Kate's book holds still, with 100 photos depicting Britain in lockdown. Went straight to the top of Amazon's sales list on release day. It was published a year to the day since Kate launched the photography project with the National Portrait Gallery. Encouraging the public to capture the spirit of the nation during the pandemic. Images of sleeping nurses, shielding elderly people and family scenes showing the reality of working from home were some of the images submitted. With 100 pictures chosen to also go on display across the country. Describing the emotional power of the images, Kate said. You felt like you had lived through the experience. That's the power of photography. Kate also led an initiative to leave 150 copies of the Hold Still book at locations across the UK for book lovers to find and enjoy yesterday. Wearing a red eponine coat, the Duchess, 39, placed the first copy near the statue of Queen Victoria overlooking the broad walk outside Kensington Palace Gardens. She led the way as judges and finalists from the photo project, which attracted 31,000 entries. Joined in to help an organization called the Book Fairies to leave more copies at other sites. Each copy contained a gold Book Fairy sticker and ribbon, along with a printed letter inside from Kate about her work. The note told finders, once you have finished looking through the book. Please leave it somewhere else in your community for the next person to enjoy. The Book Fairies have so far distributed more than 300,000 works of literature to encourage people to spread their love of reading. They were also joined by the youngest Hold Still contributor. Coney Anger, 4, who snapped her mum Kate giving her dad a haircut. In a pink fairy costume, Coney proudly placed a copy in a park in Cheltenham, Gloss. Kate then visited the Royal London Hospital, Whitechapel and saw how Bart's Health NHS Trust had collaborated with the National Portrait Gallery to bring workshops to young patients and their families.